what is going on guys this is Austin FF or Luna how you guys doing today um, there's a skate 3 gameplay in the background and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading guys I've been really busy with some stuff and for some reason Adobe Premiere will not let me render my videos lately I don't know what the hell is going on I had a sick story that I was gonna upload this weekend but sadly something fucked up and um, the reason I haven't uploaded videos is because I'm trying to get a job right now and uh, hopefully I get hired so wish me luck but I'm not busy anymore, so I have a story for you guys today. And um, so it's about the time I got caught stealing a lighter from a grocery store. So clearly you guys don't know this, but I live probably about 15 minutes away from like the town's grocery store. It's pretty, and shitty shitty thing is on my part is a lot of my family works there. And um, you guys probably already know lighters are the most stolen object worldwide. They really are. They're like, all the kids you smoke pot or do whatever... They all fucking steal lighters. Everyone does. And maybe some of you do too. But I was a huge lighter stealer. Like every opportunity I got, I could just I'd just take one and put it in my pocket. So I'm in line with my, um, it was either my brother or my mom. I don't know. But I saw these light. Or it was my dad. And I saw these lighters. And they were, it was like a 12 pack of them. And I'm like, hmm. So I grabbed it and put it in my backpack. Because I was sleeping at my dad's that night. So I had my backpack with me. And I grabbed it and I put it in my backpack. And um, I was walking out, and I saw a friend coming in, and I kind of stopped and talked to him. And, like, we talked for a solid, like, ten minutes, and we were looking at, like, I kind of looked around and realized that there was this guy from, like, the store. I can actually probably just say the store. It's The store's called Wegmans, and there's Wegmans all over here. And um, there, there's this people called Wegmans Asset Protection, and they were, like, staring at me. And I guess they're like the security because they have these gay orange sirens on the truck. So I guess they were like staring at me and I was like, hmm. So we stopped talking, me and my buddy, and I was walking out and my dad was already in his car waiting for me. And I was walking out and the asset protection dude stopped me and was like, uh, you got anything with you that uh, you shouldn't have? I'm like, no, man, I don't, I don't got anything that I shouldn't have. He's like, you sure about that? I'm like, yeah. He goes, okay, carry on. So I'm like, hmm, it's kind of fucking sketchy. So... I got scared, okay guys, this is so stupid of me, I got scared and I went back to the cash register where I took them from, and like, there was no one working that register, so I don't think some lady was staring at me the whole time, but I put them on the rack, and like, I got, I was like, alright, I'm just gonna put them back, guys, like, I was like, I'm just gonna put them back, and I put them back, and I was like, no, this is stupid, I, like, he already, he already, like, I told him I didn't have anything, there's no going back now, so I grabbed them again and put them back in my backpack, well, at this point, he fucking saw me do it twice, so I walk out, and he goes, uh, you better empty your pockets. I'm like, what? He goes, empty your pockets. I'm like, sir, you are not a cop, and you have no right to do that. And he's like, oh, okay, okay, you're right. I'm not a cop, but uh, I know you have something that you shouldn't. I'm like, no, no, I really don't, sir. So um, I was, like, sitting there. I was kind of shaky, and I was trying to start to sweat because I got scared. And then he's like, you sure you got nothing on you? And then, like, this other guy came up behind him who was part of the asset protection thing. And I was like, no, I got nothing. He's like, okay. All right, so I started walking, and um, I guess once you're out of the store, the security is actually not allowed to follow you or, like, search you unless they call the police. So what they did was they called the cops, and cops showed up, and the cops came over, and they're like, uh, Sir, we already know you have something that you shouldn't have. Can you please just make it easy and, you know, take take it out of your backpack, and sh and I'll just we'll, we'll make sure this all goes away. I'm like... I don't have anything. I don't know what you're talking about. They're like, all right, fine. We'll just get this, the dog search team down here, and they'll search you. I'm like, sir, you don't need dogs to search my backpack. You know that, right? And he's like, are you being smart with me? Hmm? You're disrespecting a police officer? I'm like, no, I'm not disrespecting you, sir. But I, like, I was trying to be as nice as I could, guys. I'm like, you know, I'm not disrespecting you, but you should at least give like, I'm like, you're kind of disrespecting me by trying to search my backpack when I have nothing in it. And he's like, I'm not disrespecting you. I know you stole something. I'm like, I didn't steal anything. He's like, okay, you know what, fine, I'm, I'm going to search you right now. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. So you know what I did, guys? I, I took my backpack, unzipped it, I gave him the pack of lighters, and I was like, you know what, I have some at home already, I can do without. <laughs> so I gave him the lighters, he's like, you see how easy that was? Do you see how easy that was? All you had to do was just give it to me. I was like, yes, I'm sorry, officer. He's like, okay, carry on. Are you here with your father? I'm like, yeah, he goes, can I talk to him? I'm like, I'd prefer if you not. He goes, okay, I respect your decision. Guy got in his car and left. I do, I do really respect him for doing that, because... If he would have talked to my dad, my dad wouldn't have been too happy about it, even though my dad's real chill. But, um, yeah, guys, if you liked the video, drop a like, favorite, and subscribe. I just hit 200 subs. Thank you. That's really sick. And, um, I've really been enjoying the feedback I've been getting and, like, all the people. I got some friend requests and I didn't tweet it at the other day. And, uh, that's really cool. So, 
Yeah, guys, this has been Austin FFA or Luna, and um, I should have another story tomorrow. I had a sick story I was going to upload this weekend, but sadly I couldn't do it due to the fact that uh, I'm doing it with another person. So uh, look forward to that. Peace.